Um, I just want to say a few words uh, reflecting my view of where the field of topological insulators is going. Uh, uh, it's very exciting in terms of theory. There are lots of theoretical developments um, uh, describing the possible kinds of topological insulators, classifying them, the possible kinds of uh, physical consequences that they may have. Uh, for example, um, Majorana fermions and, and, and so on. Um, experimentally, I guess there are two legs. Uh, one leg is the uh, attempt uh, to uh, find new and better uh, materials uh, of, of various uh, kinds in, in this chart, as I discussed earlier. Uh, and the other direction is for existing materials to actually measure surface transport properties, optical properties, edge channels, um, magnetic properties, um, to, uh, to, to demonstrate that the uh, topological materials are actually behaving in the way that they're uh, supposed to be behaving, or perhaps uh, in surprising ways that we didn't uh, anticipate. And then ultimately, uh, there should also be uh, applications. And I, I just want to say a word about this, because I think it's a fair question as to whether the field of topological insulators has been overhyped uh, a little bit. Uh, we don't really have uh, killer applications uh, waiting for us uh, uh, if we um, uh, solve the problem of finding new and better uh, topological insulators. Th there certainly are potential applications. People talk about using the chiral edge channels uh, 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 as uh, wires, basically, in microelectronic devices or for uh, sending signals. Um, there are applications that have to do with uh, magnetoelectric uh, coupling. Uh, there's possible applications for quantum uh, computing by designing qubits using uh, uh, topological insulators um, and so on. But, you know, to be honest, if you really want to have an impact in the real world, you probably should be working on battery materials, photovoltaics, fuel cell materials, bio-implant materials, organic uh, electronics for flexible displays, and, and that kind of thing. But having said that, you know, this, this field of, of topological insulators is, is a beautiful example of basic uh, science. It's uh, combined mathematics, physics, and chemistry in a very intimate way. Um, it's been an exciting uh, last uh, five to 10 years. Uh, that this field has seen an enormous development. So uh, from the point of view of basic research, I think it's a very good field to be in. And uh, as usual, uh, we don't know, we don't necessarily know uh, what the applications will be. Maybe 20 years from now, looking back, we'll have a better perspective. But in any case, uh, this is sort of my view of where the field is going at the moment.